a potential game changer in the fight against pancreatic cancer is coming. NBC 10 Boston's Monica Medea has more on this new drug and how it's impacted a Worcester woman's diagnosis. I really was shocked, Monica, because I never, I, I'm not a drinker at all, like holidays. I never smoke cigarettes. Um, I always have a, a very less processed food. Despite doing all the things she could to lead a healthy lifestyle, Debbie Orcott still found herself facing a heart-wrenching diagnosis, pancreatic cancer. The 69-year-old wife, mother, and grandmother recently retired and took up a part-time job. She was leading a full life when she got the news. I have a lot of reasons to want to push through because I, I, you know, I love my family. Um, and they definitely gave me the motivation. She began exhausting chemotherapy treatments in spring of 2024, but earlier this year received an opportunity to enroll in a clinical trial for a new pill that aims to shrink tumors. It's called Direct Sunrazib. I was pretty much in dire straits, and I felt like I had nothing to lose. Her doctor, Brandon Huffman, an oncologist and clinical investigator at Dana-Farber, says the drug has shown major promise in its international three-phase clinical trial. Once we've established that it is safe, um, we are then trying to understand, well, how well does it actually work? And what we've found in pancreatic cancer is that it works really well. Debbie says she has no side effects and got some great news. Right now, the drug has shrunk my tumor to 64% um, gone. And that is really exciting um, to be on an oral drug once per day, um, not having the side effects of chemotherapy and being able to live well, being able to travel. The drug is in its final phase of the trial. As for when it will be available for all patients, that's unclear. The FDA has given Razib a first-ever priority voucher to fast-track its approval. Debbie says she wants people with a similar diagnosis to have hope as new technologies emerge. I was excited to do this because if, if some other people see that and, and they're in the same situation that I slash was am, um, then it would give those people hope too. And I just, I, I was so grateful to be part of that. Monica Medea, NBC 10, Boston. Yeah, that's very exciting and hopeful news. Remarkable science there.